for drivers that need to uh, that drive through South Bend, I should say, yep. should know about. Yes. The city of South Bend is proposing some significant changes to North Bend Drive. The street will get what they're calling a road diet, commonly known as a lane reduction. Uh, the goal is slowing down traffic and making the road safer, of course. Phase one from Cleveland Road to Lathrop was completed in 2020. Phase two is set to start in the next few years. The proposal will cut the number of lanes on Bendix from four to two with the center turn lane on the stretch between Lathrop and Vorty. It's a lot at you right now. Indeed. But <laughs> yeah, Matt Gotch, he joins help. us live from the traffic site. Matt, explain it for us because sometimes it's hard for us to even understand. Save us. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Josh and Lauren, you know, the city says that this project won't begin for a couple of years, but this is the second time that this stretch of road, which is a 40 mile an hour zone, has seen significant changes in the last decade. Now, as well as the lane reduction, the plan for this three quarter mile stretch will also add multi use paths for pedestrians, which will connect to existing paths to the north and south of the planned construction. The city will also install new traffic signals at Lathrop and uh, Ver Vordy, excuse me, Verdi, uh, and replace the water main running along Bendix and upgrade stormwater, sewer, and drainage systems. According to a Federal Highway Administration study, a road diet can reduce overall crashes by 19 to 47 percent, but still, at least one local business owner isn't thrilled with the result of the last road diet. To me, they should have just fixed the road, replaced it the way it was, and traffic was moving a lot better before. It's hard to pull in and out if you're turning off a side street or something because cars are continuously coming now where before there used to be a break when there was four lanes of traffic. At the busy time of the day, it's just one car after another. It's like a parade out here. <laughs> Now, in a statement from the City of South Bend Engineering Division, they say in part, quote, the three-lane segment will also help slow traffic speeds and create safer bike and pedestrian facilities. And 80% of the cost of the project will come through federal funds with 20% covered locally. Now, as you guys saw from some of that uh, uh, that VO there, that B-roll, there were actually crews out here today. They were the first crews of their kind, and they were laying down paint to uh, identify for future crews where the utility line is so they might not accidentally cut something when they are uh, actually start the, the actual construction project in about uh, two or three years. But for now, live from Bendix Drive, Matt Gotch, 16 News Now. Okay, thanks for that breakdown, Matt. We needed it there. Indeed. A lot going on. Yeah, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get to your four.